from a YouTube channel dedicated to a middle-aged man sitting down and smiling in silence for four hours straight to a channel that has a video named after the mark of the beast 666. These are the 10 most abnormal YouTube channels ever and i did not put these channels in any specific order some channels are more abnormal than others so i'll leave you guys to be the judge of that let's begin benjamin bennett benjamin bennett is a channel about a guy that sits down and smiles for nothing less than four hours straight in silence i know some of you guys will be like mr beast counted to 100,000 for 23 hours blah 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 rubbish at least he had a chair and he could talk during that period this nigga sits nyash down on the floor and stares into a camera like it's his girlfriend like you cannot compare and people know that this is in real time the guy streams it live so people will know that it's like in real time and they asked him like why why does he do this thing the guy said that he, he thinks the thing is creative and it <laughs> makes people happy the guy started making these types of videos and it's not just one like he makes a bunch of these videos back in 2014 but on his fifth upload something strange happened it's around two hours 30 minutes into the video could hear someone breaking into his house while he was in his bedroom you know sitting down and looking at the camera <laughs> And the person was searching his rooms and ransacking the house and he came up to his door and opened it and saw the guy sitting down and the guy ran away. But the fact that the guy never broke character when he was hearing somebody ransacking his house makes me respect him even more like the determination you know, to bypass your own fear, your own instincts just for a YouTube video. This is Mr. Beast level shit. This guy has made 300 plus 4 hours videos of him sitting down consistently for the past how many years? 300 videos of 4 hours of him sitting down and smiling. If you do the maths, that is 50 days of his life that he dedicated to YouTube to sit down and smile. But after his 300th upload, he started making a new series of videos he titled Walking and Talking. The other one was sitting and smiling. This one is now walking and talking. See how creative the guy is. And of course, in this new series, he does what he says he does in the title. He walks and he talks. With ecological conservation. <laughs> I mean like him or hate him but at least he's not selling bathing water to his subscribers which is what the next person did Belle Delphine Now the 21 year old girl who owns this channel is notorious for dressing up in a provocative way and doing strange things on camera for views like she's just basically a calm girl but There's one of her videos that was particularly abnormal to me Her video Meet My Best Friend In the video she dressed up and you know did many mundane activities like reading a book and taking a bath with her best friend which was a dead octopus can you imagine dead octopus now when her video started popping up back in the day she attracted a lot of attention from two sets of people the first set of people we are of course simp guys who came to her channel to see a provocative young girl do weird stuff on camera and the second set of people we are people who are genuinely curious about why she does what she does on her videos and getting to know who she actually was now all said and done Belle Delphine once used this attention she was getting from these two sets of audiences to sell her bathing water to millions of our horny followers. Right up, so, Game of Boys, it's time to get your Game of Girl bathwater. Can't still believe this shit went down, like, I honestly speaking. What surprised me, eh, was that some YouTubers actually bought this bathing water and not drank it live on video for views. Okay, I'm gonna down the whole thing because I'm a fucking absolute lad I am. Let's do it for the boys. Bell Delphine more, guys. Like they sold their soul by drink. See this YouTuber with them. Things are happening in this YouTube. Some people even reported getting some STDs after drinking that water. <laughs> Before Uncle, eh, now. She later on, she revealed why she did all these strange things, you know, on camera. Money and fame, of course. People on OnlyFans are roughly earning the same, I think, from what I know. And at the moment, it's like a mil a month. Anyone, has anyone from OnlyFans <laughs> reached out to and let you know that you may be the, the biggest earner on the platform? She explained that combining being cute and being weird on camera was like the ultimate formula to go viral in her own opinion. From this point, I was like, I need to figure out a way for people to be interested in me. I've got the taking cute pictures and stuff, but that's not gonna really do it. There's so many cute girls on the internet. I need to do something that will make people even 
say negative things about me or just just have a conversation having a conversation is how you propel things on the internet is people responding to it and sharing it so i decided to do weird things in the combination as well as being sexy like i'll be sexy and i'll be like cracking an egg in my mouth or something <laughs> and then people will share that be like what the fuck this girl's so mm -hmm. weird and quirky but or whatever <laughs> Sure, all said and done, and somehow, somehow, in some weird way, I respect the hustle. It's not easy to be beautiful and to be consistently doing weird stuff on grandma. Let's just give her that, you know? Let's just. <laughs> Later on, disappeared from YouTube, and you know, now nah, after advertising our only fans. Nobody watching this video should go and search up her channel, I beg. Nobody may send you. <laughs> the next channel is even more abnormal than this one, so. But before that, go and subscribe to my own channel now, before this bar runs out. Shop, 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 so I can continue. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Are you done? Okay, let's continue. Louis Paxton. Now, this channel was owned by 23-year-old Louis, who went on to video and record the events leading up to her possible kidnapping slash disappearance. Why? Well, I'll explain that later. Oh, I know this is already beginning to sound somehow, but initially, her channel was used to post lifestyle type of content now about her and her friends. But one day, she posted her first gory video titled Stalker. Record, um, document, um, an event which, um, First started two nights ago. She claimed that the man like figure surfaced in her house at night. A man stood at my doorway here, leaning against the pane of the window. We now let her go on to confirm this in a second video titled Stalker 2. Fuck, he's here. Again, fuck. Call the fucking police. Call the fucking It was at this point people started believing her story. Then as time went on, she kept you know posting videos that insinuated that indeed she was being watched or stalked by someone. Sometimes self even harassed. Now ah, because some you know sensible human beings we are in her audience, there were two questions people started asking. First question people started asking her because those ones did not believe her initially. They were asking like why didn't she contact the police if at all somebody was stalking her, someone was in her house. Well in a video she said that she did contact the police but they did not believe her because they did not have evidence that there was even a stalker or even if there was the stalker even pulls the threat to her life wow well another question they began to ask was why does she not just leave the house now since it's being haunted i think it's better to reserve your life and leave the house and see whether the person may leave and guess what she never gave an answer to this particular question hmm, my nigerian senses are beginning to kick in uh. <laughs> after you know now she, after this she kept posting videos more videos of her telling her story of how she's being stalked and all those kind of stuff one of her friends saw one of her videos lizzie and decided to pay her a visit to get to the bottom of this no lou is being the you know the able vlogger video the whole experience when lizzie came over Hello, she videoed hi. when they were talking when they were drinking when they were you know now having fun you know the normal stuff you do when you're in danger when somebody is talking your life you know you party and three days later while lizzie was in the house the boogeyman attacked them that was the figure and you know ate them i guess we've got to get out of here we've got to get out we've got to get out <laughs> All this was recorded in their last video titled please help now that is the end of louis parks that's the end of the channel that's the end of the whole story but i have one question if i thought this was true why did she video it i mean god gave you legs to run why will you stay in that house and be there videoing it and romanticizing the whole thing why not to run for your life oh wait oh, look a oh. few years later in an interview a director named andrew and an actor named zoe were asked if they have worked on previous projects together i know what they said yes they have further went on to say that zoe played as lewis in an online internet series wow an online internet series i see how they used our heads and she, but but she, we have to give it to her her acting was dope even as i was watching her videos to an extent i even believed her somehow but as a, as a nigerian man of course i was suspicious but sure majority of us got played but maybe the next abnormal channel won't play us like that 01a51cd0 this is one of the channels that i can say is just straight up possessed by something or at least the owner is possessed because i cannot imagine what is like you can find on this channel and i know i know i know i know those are some bold statements but let me explain now if you look at the titles to the videos on this channel they will seem to be in another language but if you look closer it is in the english language but the titles are not 
are written upside down and the titles are always one worded creepy text like the video that was titled jubilee or the video that was titled sign and the thumbnails are always just weird and it gets even worse so when you watch some of the videos on this channel you notice a pattern they are just weird clips that you are compiled against weird music and weird sound effects everything is just weird about the whole video the lengths are, are not specific they vary from hour long to a few seconds long you think i'm lying oh yeah here is a video from the channel titled jubilee Hmm, perfectly normal, but well, here's another video from that same channel titled Blood Brothers, of course, written upside down. strange about the channel 01A51CD0 is that it has at least 27 videos uploaded since it was created but the first 8 videos of that channel were posted 10 years ago in 2011 of course then the channel now took an 8 year break then began re-uploading in 2019 8 years 8 videos i don't know what they are trying to say but it, it just looks suspicious to me and believe it or not the channel came back in 2019 people were excited that this channel was back like this channel actually has core like die hard fans crazy how like in, in youtube there's an audience for anything yeah shout on to the next channel next abnormal channel honestly is just honestly very funny countdown now the owner of this channel could be the greatest prank on youtube i've ever seen this channel was created on the 20th of december 2021 it was obvious that the owner of this channel had something special for the audience they would create because the next day they posted a video titled soon Now that is a video showing a countdown from 100 to 0, good and fine. But after the countdown, what happens? What will come next? What, what will be coming soon? You know that kind of, you're curious right? Even me, I was curious like, well it was certain that the creator, the person that owned this channel was a man of their words or a woman of their words because exactly on the next day, they began the countdown from 100. Audiences, we are spooked. People were excited. We were, we were wondering what will happen after the hundred days. Like, what will happen after this countdown? People started inventing their own the theories of countdown. What it will maybe it, it will count down to maybe the end of the world. You know all these conspiracy theories now. More thousands of people watched every five second countdown video that guy posted from a hundred to zero. People were eating this stuff up like it was it was one kind of movie. Oh my, even me, I will not lie. I was I was part of them. You know the the second most viewed video on this channel was sixty nine because of you know the significance of that number or in a way in a mind don't spoil and then the most viewed video on the channel was when the channel hit zero the countdown hit zero now what happened after the countdown hit zero well it so happens that if you count the 100 days forward from the 22nd of december 2021 you will exactly land on the first of april <laughs> Yeah, nigga, I threw the biggest recall I've ever seen in my life. Well, I know most of you guys watching this video fell for that recall. That shit was abnormal. It was weird. I spent how, that, how many days following this thing. And they recalled me. Pronunciation book. Now, honestly, this channel tells you exactly what it does. It is a pronunciation channel or book or whatever. The channel once served as a tool to help non speakers of the English language to help them pronounce certain words like avatar, avatar, or bouquet, boca, you know, that kind of stuff. You see, perfectly normal, or so we thought. It was normal till the channel posted a certain video titled How to Ask for Help in the English Language. And it was quite a weird video because, in fact, I cannot explain it. You just rather watch and tell me why that video was weird please help me escape from this place please help me escape from this 
place. Unlike other pronunciation code videos, the demeanor of the voice wasn't narrative. It was more like someone was actually behind the screen genuinely asking for help like they are being trapped or they are being forced into something people of course began coming up with theories in the comment section about what might be going on in this channel does someone need help does is there someone in danger is this a sign it could this be a message to continue the channel did another strange thing the channel posted another video titled how to pronounce 77 and throughout the video the narrator kept saying something is going to happen after 77 days so something is going to happen in 77 days now it sounds freaking familiar to the countdown channel it sounds too familiar self but this one was different instead of counting down from 100 to 0 this one counted down 77 to 1 what happened after the 77 days countdown well after the countdown the channel posted a video titled how to pronounce horse ebooks i know I don't get it this time around a spokesperson was seen narrating some stupid gibberish about cyberspace and a man i didn't even understand what was even happening self. there is a man named dalton dalton is dangerous he is rich he is strong, and he is going to crash the stock market. Sidewalks crack and streets go dark. 10,000 bankers shake and scream for Dalton's pyramid. Where are the regulators? That's where you come in. I've been trying to tell you something for five years. Honest, it was a bit creepy, but you know, expected. Turns out that this whole countdown and the whole stunt and the whole trivia that the channel arose was a marketing scheme to promote a game called Beast Ends Bravo. Air Stearns Bravo. No, I don't know anybody, any of you guys have played the game. Maybe the marketing works in America, but you know, you know, we're just here for Africa, for Nigeria. So yeah, they kept people in suspense for 77 days to promote a game for, you know, money. We just did wicked, I swear. Uh, let's move on to the next channel, I beg. My Dark Journal. According to sources, this channel is owned by a guy named Victor. Now, Victor is a satanist. He claims that his wife was killed in the Holocaust, and he's on a witch hunt to kill the soldiers that killed his wife. Uh huh redemption arc another funny thing is that he also claims to have resurrected his wife through a pact he made with a demon called the slender man interesting so you're pissed that the soldiers of the holocaust killed your wife and you're on a mission to kill those people that killed your wife but you have already resurrected the dead wife i know i'm sounding somehow harsh but yeah that's how my brain is working you won you've resurrected her why the beef this is just pretty weird it's beyond my scope because I never expected Demon Story to be on YouTube. One of the creepiest videos on his channel is titled Obey. In this video, you can see like a possible figure of a, a man smashing a table for around 5 minutes straight up. It's just weird, it's just weird. Mind you, this channel started posting back in 2010. So it's like he has not killed the soldiers that killed his wife. He has not fulfilled the mission. In some of his videos, you will see as if this the slender man demon is trying to stop him from committing suicide or is trying to I don't know, he just has some weird relationship with the demon he made a pact with. <sighs> okay, it's time for the fun. The fun abnormal channels you have gone through the gory ones i beg it's canyon now this channel is owned by a guy named hunter august popularly known as meat canyon and man if you watch this channel it will take you for a ride the guy makes dark parody animations on different topics ranging from popular figures to cartoons to popular tv shows you name it the guy the guy will just make one dark animation concerning that topic and it's always it's always so funny you always have this question you ask yourself like what the fuck did i just watch I think i'm joking well, here's a video he made on Spongebob. I need more flavor. Take it out. Take the secret formula. Did I satisfy you all? Our hunger is satiated for now. But we'll be back. I will leave a link to his channel below, but you, you just go and check the guy's channel out. It's it's mad. Syriac. Well, this channel, will I say is creepy or fascinating or just boots? Well, it's an animation channel, but yeah, it's abnormal. Syriac, the owner of the channel, posts animation that starts off with something seemingly normal. Let's say a sheep or a woman's face, something like that. But gradually, as you keep watching the video, the team begins to metastasize into something very, very disturbing and weird. And the videos will always poke holes in your brain now there are some people that have said that this is videos are genuinely not abnormal they are just for comedic effect but
the videos are weird huh? let's just be let's just be honest with ourselves this guy's channel is a bit strange well like unlike other channels i've talked about this channel seems to honestly don't have a like a sinister agenda towards it owner is just some talented editor and talented animator that imagines weird stuff in fact his weird stuff is so unique that he has worked for popular brands like cartoon network and adult swim he has done commercials for them so yeah he doesn't have any creepy agenda now let's get to the final abnormal channel nana 825763 this channel is one of the scariest channels i've ever visited on youtube one of its most infamous videos is titled username 666 666 being the mark of the beast in the biblical context the video username 666 was posted on the 26th of february 2008 a very long time ago but it has been said to have been posted way back before even then making this current video on this nana 825763 channel a repost of the original video the original video that was posted over 14 years ago did something strange to people's browsers whenever they clicked on it firstly it forced people who clicked on the video to keep refreshing the page because it was not loading and with each refresh the page on the browser will keep changing and becoming corroded and corroded and turning into something strange till eventually you can now see where to play the 666 video Now, if you ask me, that looks like something truly demonic. I, I, I don't see any comical effect or any, I, just something very strange. Over the years, YouTube has banned the user 666 from its platform. 666 being the original channel that posted the 666 video. Of course, they banned the channel for obvious reasons. But people say that Nana825763 is the same person as username 666. So for those investigative people that wanted to go deeper into the trivia and that kind of stuff, a user in the creepy pasta wiki found out Nana825763 seven six trees email and you know email the person asking for more information trying to get to the bottom of it and the reply that nana eight two five seven six three gave this person isn't exactly you know welcoming in fact it's a bit scary he said and i quote you are very close to the truth here so i'm going to have to ask you to delete your account or else there will be consequences i can't let anyone find out about this he then went on further to say the truth is something bigger than just having two accounts though you may disregard this as me trolling you but if i were you i'd delete your stupid story if you still want to live sincerely nana825763 how could this have been a troll is this real we don't know but one thing is for sure the channel 666 and nana 825763 are far from abnormal and any person that wants to visit those channels should tread with extreme caution